So, uh, good morning, sir. I must good tell morning. you that I really feel privileged to sit on the podium with you. No, and no. more privileged to ask any question that I want in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> so, that's a special uh, position to be in. Uh, sure. We have been talking about, um, you know, different kinds of disabilities and how to get persons with disabilities into the mainstream. But I know that you're working in a different area, which is on mental health of people, especially people who are elder, who are getting older, and definitely that elder care is becoming something that is very critical. I myself, when I forget something, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is, is Alzheimer setting in. And then fortunately, I remember the next number and say, doesn't look like it. But <laughs> I think it's a big concern today, and so you're doing commendable job in that area. So it'll be great to hear from you on what is that that you're doing in that area. Thank you. So thank you, and thank you, Feroz, uh, for inviting me here. Um, it's, it's actually great to be here. Uh, you know, I'm inspired by all of you, uh, the stories that I hear, the work that you're doing, and it's truly, truly inspirational. Hats off to every one of you. Uh, you know, I, for some time I wondered, you know, why Feroz wants me to be here. Uh, and then he said, talk about, uh, you know, your new initiative, which is uh, on brain research, and that's the question you're asking me. See, India has about four million people who have some uh, form of dementia. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, etc. It costs about 20,000 rupees from the medicine point of view to take care of them in a year. Uh, in the US, I'm told that it costs at least $20,000. And this is not including the cost of the caregiver. Now, if I actually ask around, I can tell you, and this is from my experience, when I talk to my friends, many of them tell me that uh, somebody in their family, older, and in some cases actually younger, you know, when it comes to Parkinson's, is aff afflicted with this. And yes, there is this economic cost, but then the social cost, the cost on the family, is very, very significant. You know, how do you take care of your parents, you know, your parents took care of you from when you were a child, and suddenly they become child. They can't take care of themselves, and you have to take care of them at that point. And it's a big, big challenge, both mentally as well as, of course, you know, the physical cost of actually managing this. So when I stepped down uh, from Infosys uh, in 2014, so I, I retired from Infosys in 2014, no longer with Infosys, I thought, uh, you know, I would like to do something which connects to computers, so brain, but which has some social impact. And as a technical person, as a technologist, uh, I felt that the area that I would look at of course, you know, you are do looking at the, the social aspect of it, the inclusion aspect of it. I said, let me look at the research side of it. Can we understand and maybe can we cure? Can we slow down the progression of neurodegenerative diseases? Now, this is a disease that will affect every country. Because every country is aging, and we are also going to age. At this point, we have 65 million people. Uh, well, uh, we are about 60 million people above the age of 65. And pretty soon, we'll have 200 million people above the age of 65. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you look at a family, you know, husband and wife, there are four older people they need to take care of. And one in 20, sorry, 20% uh, 20 or 25% of people above the age of 65 will get some mental disorder. And the cost on society is huge. So 
uh, I said, let me support uh, research. Now, the reason why I supported research from India is till now, we have not understood the disease. We have no cure for these diseases. So if India joins this quest for understanding and finding a cure, it will help the world. India has some unique uh, differences which may actually allow us, because the diversity is extremely important to understand you know, breakthroughs in science and things that come because of the diversity and the diverse thoughts. Uh, so India has people who are multilingual. India has people who are vegetarian. India has people who meditate. India has people who do yoga. Uh, and, and, you know, it's, our genetic pool is very different. You know, so many things are different. And of course, we have the social challenge also, because as a developing country, there is no way we can afford the cost of managing this problem and this challenge. So we have set up a Center for Brain Research at Indian Institute of Science. I've committed uh, uh, a large amount of money to support this cause. I'm also setting it up such that it works with other organizations around the world because I strongly believe that global collaboration is important when it comes to scientific research. So they collaborate with other organizations. The first project is being kicked off. It's a longitudinal study of 10,000 people in a village called Srinivaspura in Kola district. We will study them from the age of 45 through age of 55. For the next 10 years, we're looking at uh, basic brain functions, and basic health data, scan data, genomics data, you know, the entire data about that individual over the next 10 years. So we can also track the onset of disease. We can also look at you know, what uh, is causing. Uh, is there a difference between one person in the family with another person in the family because they have the same gene pool? And understand it. Modern science has now created new tools with which we can study these diseases. You know, the, the, um, the, the technological advances that happened in um, gene, gene sequencing, um, the advances that we have in um, using, um, you know, imaging to look at uh, brain function, etc., allows us now to study this, and probably this is the right time to do that. So that's what I am doing. Um, you know, it's one aspect of, um, you know, trying to help uh, this, uh, these people. So thank you, sir. Research is the first step for breakthrough solutions. And the humble man he is, he has really given 240 plus crores of his personal money for this cause. A big round of applause. <laughs> so Senator Hawkins was mentioning about how to get, you know, designs and aspects for to include everyone. You, being the humble person, the humanitarian person, but you also have another tag of being the first class technologist. So what do you how do you think that technology can help in designing an India that is inclusive and can be a role model for other countries? You know, uh, this is, I believe, Another exciting aspect of um, you know, the, the advances that are happening. Uh, suddenly, with uh, you know, just like the mobile phone itself, um, you can um, uh, use voice recognition. Um, you can um, uh, translate automatically from um, voice to text, text to voice. Uh, you can translate different languages automatically. You can use your mobile phone for um, as your eyes and ears. Uh, you know it will actually recognize objects and tell you and guide you. Uh, basically, I I'm actually you know fascinated by the opportunities that are available today to leverage technology. To um, I I strongly feel augment people's capabilities. Uh, because I personally use that. When I was in Japan recently, um, I used the Google Translate to actually translate from Japanese to English. So I used it, just like uh, Senator Hawkins uh, said, you know, wa Harkins said, whatever is developed, I think it will benefit every human being. 
And that, I believe, is the opportunity because the cost of technology is coming down. Senator Harkin gave an example of you know, how this chip was part of now every single television. I strongly believe that the cost of technology will come down dramatically. And if we simply expand our thinking to say that when we develop an application, can we make sure that it includes everybody, it, it is accessible, it, it can be used by everybody, suddenly then we see that um, you know, the possibilities are infinite. And I think that excites me because we, we can now um, help everybody. And now we need to bring down the cost. So uh, cost is a significant factor. And this is again why I believe that India must participate in these things because the concept of cost when it comes to a developed country is when it comes to let's say 10 cents, you think it's cheap enough. But 10 cents in India is still not affordable for probably 300 million people or 400 million people. So we have to look at 10 paise or maybe even 1 paise. We can do it because we have done it in telecom. You know, we have now 950 million people who have tele access to telephone and we have one of the cheapest telephony in the world because of the numbers. So I strongly believe that if we think about everybody, if we can include everybody, um, we will be able to develop fantastic technologies, fantastic applications and the cost will be affordable. Thank you. And I think I just want to add that if we collaborate and not reinvent and use platforms, which is the biggest word today, but it gives a lot of benefit, then scaling will happen very quickly. We are running out of time, but I want to ask a last googly question. What is your biggest life lesson? My biggest uh, life lesson is the power of the individual. Uh, I strongly believe that a person can change the world. Uh, if that person um, thinks big, believes, uh, I think other people are going to follow, um, you know, looking at this room and Were looking at Were you mentioning Feroz? Yes, <laughs> Feroz himself is a good example of uh, that. And I, you know, I, I don't exactly remember what uh, Steve Jobs uh, said, uh, you know, it's something to the effect that, um, uh, you know, the passionate people, the people who are crazy are the people who are going to change the world because they don't believe in anything else. They, they, they don't accept the rules uh, and, and, and the rest of the world will learn later, figure out later, but they are the people, the crazy people are the people who will change the world. So you also identified that Feroz is crazy. Thank you for that. Thank you so in much. In a nice way. Thank you.